In the Edo period, when the average life expectancy was around 40, there was a Japanese shogun named Tokugawa Ieyasu, who is said to have lived until the age of 75. He was known as a longevity and health enthusiast, and he can give us modern people some hints on how to live a long and healthy life. Today, we will recreate a meal that the shogun Ieyasu is said to have enjoyed, so let's all aim for a long and healthy life together. First, let's prepare two go of rice and wash it thoroughly. This is optional, but I like to soak the rice for about 10 minutes to remove any unwanted smells. Rice can easily absorb the smell of its surroundings. I'll discard the water and use fresh water later. When researching the foods that supported Shogun's health and longevity, two major keywords emerged barley rice and soybean miso. Let's start by making the barley rice. This is raw barley. It's my first time buying it. It seems similar to the raw material for oatmeal, but with some differences. As you all know, oatmeal cooks quickly and can be eaten immediately after a light bowl or with milk. However, raw barley takes longer to cook, so it needs to be cooked together with rice. Now that we've soaked the rice, let's change the water. I like to use fresh, clean water for the best result. I'm using a two go rice, so I'll add water up to the two go line. That's about 200 ml of water. Next, I'll add 45 g of rolled barley to the rice cooker. We need to add some extra water. I'll add 90 ml of water for the barley. Let's give everything a gentle mix. Then we can close the lid of the rice cooker and cook the barley rice on the regular setting. I usually cook rice on the quick cook setting for 20 minutes, and that worked well for the barley rice too. Now let's make the shogun's favorite meat dish. In a time when soybeans were the primary source of protein, shogun was known to actively incorporate meat and fish into his diet. This reflects his commitment to maintaining a healthy and balanced diet. In this recipe, we will use soybean miso. The second keyword in this video to create a delicious and savory marinade for our meat. Today we will be using boneless, skinless chicken breast. Cut this into thin slices so that it can be easily cooked. Interestingly, it's said that in Ieyasu's time, pheasant and crane were often roasted on skewers and enjoyed with a miso glaze. Let's make our miso sauce here. Unlike regular miso, which is often made from rice koji and soybeans, soybean miso is made entirely from soybeans with added salt. This gives it a distinct and rich flavor that sets it apart from rice miso. You may substitute other miso. Put 1 tablespoon soybean miso. Add mirin. And sake to the miso. These ingredients will help to balance the flavor and create a smooth marinade. One key ingredient in a marinade is ginger. By adding ginger, garlic, sesame, and other ingredients to the already health boosting soybean miso, we can further increase its nutritional value. Those combinations is believed to have supported shogun's health by preventing high blood pressure and diabetes and promoting fatigue recovery. Finally, let's mix everything together until well combined. Interestingly, this type of miso is primarily produced in Aichi Prefecture. It's no surprise that Ieyasu, who hailed from Okazaki City in Aichi Prefecture, developed a fondness for this local ingredient. Within Aichi Prefecture, the Okazaki region is particularly renowned for its production of Hachio miso, a unique brand of soybean miso. This prize miso is made using traditional methods and boasts a rich, complex flavor. Now let's add the chicken to the flavorful marinade. Gently massage the chicken pieces to ensure they are evenly coated in the miso mixture. Cover the marinade chicken with plastic wrap and refrigerate for 20 to 30 minutes. This allows the flavor to develop and permeate the chicken. Now let's move on to recreating Shogun's favorite miso soup. Let's prepare the vegetables. 
We'll need guabo, burdock root, daikon radish, and green onion. We'll also add some meat later for extra protein. This soup is a great way to incorporate vegetables and protein into your diet. By adding root vegetable and seasonal vegetables, you'll be getting a good dose of fiber and nutrients that will keep you feeling full and satisfied. Feel free to experiment with different vegetables based on what you have in your fridge. This recipe is versatile and can be adapted to your liking. Since gobo is a tough vegetable that takes a long time to cook, we'll slice it thinly and into small pieces. This will help it cook evenly and make it easier to digest. Gobo can turn brown easily, so we'll soak it in water to prevent that. This komatsuna will be our miso soup topping. It adds a beautiful pop of color and extra nutrients. In the Edo period, duck or pheasant meat was used in this recipe, but we'll be using chicken wings to make it more accessible for home cooks. Season the chicken with salt and pepper. Adding chicken to the soup really enhances the flavor and takes it to the next level. Heat some oil in a pot and start by browning the chicken on all sides. We want to get a nice crispy skin with a little bit of char on it. Once the chicken is cooked on one side, flip it over and add a vegetable and water. This recipe is for two servings. Let's simmer the dish until the gobo and daikon are tender. Once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat to low. Let's make a side dish. Today we will be using nanohana. Nanohana is in season right now and it's a delicious taste of spring. Apparently, nanohana was also a popular food during the Edo period when Ies was in power. Look, there is a flower in bloom. My husband says we should save it to decorate with instead of eating it. He did some research and found out that while the nanohana flowers are not poisonous, they can be bitter. After washing them through we will blanch them in boiling water for one minute. Nanohana can be difficult to find outside of Japan, so feel free to substitute spinach or other leafy greens in this recipe. The key is to rinse with cold water immediately after draining hot water. Let's check on the miso soup. The vegetables are tender, so it's time to add the miso paste. We'll use soybean miso again. We'll also add a little bit of dash powder. Even if you don't put it in, it will be fine because the chicken will have its own broth. Finally, let's add the komatsuna and simmer for 1 to 2 minutes. Soybean miso is perfect for stewed and simmered dishes. Unlike other type of miso, it doesn't lose its flavor as much when cooked. And it actually gets more delicious the longer it simmers. Let's set aside a small amount of the komatsuna while it's still bright green. Let's dress the nanohana we blanched earlier. We'll be using walnut. It seems that the shogun used to eat roasted miso with chopped walnut, which are high in antioxidants on top of rice. Today we'll be using walnut in the dressing for our side dish. I don't have a good nut grinder at home, so I used this rolling pin to crush the walnuts. Once they are crushed, transfer them to a bowl and add the seasonings. You can use soybean miso for this dressing, but I'm going to change things up a bit and use rice miso. Add soy sauce, rice vinegar, 
mirin, and sugar, and mix well. You can omit the mirin if you like. The walnut might be tastier if they were crushed even finer, but at this size, you can enjoy the texture of the walnut. Add the red drained nanohana and mix well. Taste and add a little bit of salt if needed. The combination of vinegar and miso is delicious, so I encourage you to try it with the various vegetables. The chicken has marinated, so let's cook it. Miso can burn easily, so let's scrape it off the chicken before cooking. Heat some oil in a fry pan and cook the chicken over medium heat. Be careful not to burn it. And cook each side for 2 to 3 minutes. If you cook it for too long, it will become hard, so you can cook it for about 2 minutes and then turn off the heat and let the residual heat cook it through. Lightly heat the remaining miso sauce in a fry pan, and if the chicken does not flavor strongly enough, add a little miso sauce to the chicken. Finally, let's grate this Japanese yam, yamaimo. Grated yam is called tororo and goes well with barley rice. Ieyasu, who was also well versed in medicine, is said to have grated lotus root and yam in a 1 to 1 ratio and eaten it with barley rice, as both are used in Chinese medicine. Since I'm not used to eating raw lotus root, I'll just use yam. Yams are said to help with digestion and lungs function in Chinese medicine. This is how you eat it. Pour it over rice, add a little soy sauce, and top with a little nori. Now the barley rice is cooked. The barley is plump and looks great. Barley is rich in dietary fiber, minerals, vitamin B1, and calcium. Additionally, shogun barley rice was a mixture of barley and half meal rice with the germ remaining, requiring sour chewing. This chewing is said to have activated his brain and digestive system, becoming a source of vitality. By the way, it's said that Ieyasu preferred barley rice not only for its nutritional value, but also to save money, since rice was much more expensive than barley in the past. I got a lot of rolled barley this time, so I'm going to mix it with rice and eat it for a while. It's full of dietary fiber and really healthy. In Japan, it's common to eat barley rice with tororo, it's popular to top it with nori seaweed, but today I'll sprinkle it with aonori. This time I made a lot of simple and healthy dishes. And my husband was happy and said this will help us live a long time. This is pickled daikon. This time I tried adding chicken wings to the miso soup for the first time, and it was surprisingly delicious. I'm definitely going to make it again. Please try it too. Let's live long and healthy. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel. If you are already a subscriber and would like to support our channel, please join our membership. Membership feedback will be reflected in content creation. See you in the next video.